I'll quickly show you how to map the uh, shared folder as a network drive in Windows. So what we'll do is just minimize this, open our file explorer, and then with file explorer open, click the three dots, select map network drive, and choose a drive letter to where you want to map the shared folder to. So you could give it a drive letter here. So in this case, we'll select A. In the folder, we type in backslash, backslash, the name of your NAS, then another backslash, and then the name of the shared folder. In this case, it will be data, and then one more backslash, and click finish. Then for the enter network credentials box, we need to type in the user account that we created. If you remember, we created a user called share. So this is where we will map the drive letter to and shared folder to this username. So type in that username. So as you can see, we've typed in share and then type in the password and select remember my credentials and click OK. That will then load the shared folder on your new NAS. As you can see, we've got a blank folder window here and it shared it as data on NAS03 and it's allocated drive letter A. So what you can do is just drag and drop files into there now. So as an example, I'll copy this and then paste it into our data drive there. And as you can see, it's pasted it in there. So what we can do is now delete that file we don't need it in there and select yes so that's how easy it is to set up a shared folder in windows and connect it to your qnap nas so now that we've done that we can close that window and go back to our pc and as you'll see we've now got our other network drive so we've got driver a in there which connects to the data folder on our qnap nas now, one other thing I would like to mention is that if you cannot, for example, map a network drive or you're using it on a device that doesn't support um, mapped network drives, then what you can do is log into the NAS via the web interface using the user account other than the administrator account. For example, it would be one of the users created in the everyone group. So what you would do is log in as that user. For example, this user that we created earlier was called Scanner for one of them. And all you do is go to the same web address. So the IP address 192.168.1.10 in this case, and enter the username when you're presented with the QNAP login for NAS03. Enter the username, click next, and type in or paste in the password, click login, and then scroll down to the bottom for the terms of use, tick the box to I have read and accept all provisions. This will be done each user when they first log in, but it will only appear once. So once you've done this, you can click continue. Data and privacy again, click continue, and scroll down to the bottom for the data privacy notice and click continue again. Then your desktop will be loaded. However, you'll notice that there's not as many icons. This is because you're not logged in as an administrator account, but you're logged in as one of the everyone user group. So all you'll be presented with is file station and help center. So we'll just clear those uh, messages that's appearing in the bottom right corner as this is the first time we're logging in and um, we'll just go to the notice board by clicking on the i icon in the top right corner and closing these notice board notifications so then once you've cleared those notifications you don't have to clear them of course but uh, it's just best to get those out of the way all you'll be presented with is file station and the help center icon so you can't perform administrator privileges but what you can do is browse the files that you're allowed to access so the folder shared folders that you're allowed to access you'll be granted access to those so you've got public and data there because if you recall we added the user scanner to 
access the data folder so scanner can read and write files into the data folder here so that's another way to access the files and folders on your QNAP NAS other than mapping network drives so you may want to do it this way for example if you're on a mobile device an Android or an Apple device um, a smartphone for example would be uh, the ideal use case for this instead of mapping network drives this is the alternative way to access your files as well and of course you have to be on the local network to do this as we haven't set up cloud access but we can set up cloud access in another video if you want to see that let me know in the comment down below so that's it for this video i think take care of yourself look after others and more videos coming soon thanks for watching bye for now